everyone, Coyote Peterson here. Well, we're officially at the end of Dragon Tales Season 1, and what an adventure it was! Oh my gosh, this is him! This is Stumpy! That is the alligator snapping turtle. Oh! Look at how big that one is! This turtle just bit the top of my thumb off. Dragon Tail Season 1 for me was a, a dream come true, honestly. I've loved snapping turtles since eight years old. Why snapping turtles? I've just always been so fascinated with these prehistoric creatures that live in the mud. I mean, they truly do look like dragons. You pull one of these beasts up out of the mud with the jaws going and the claws going. It's just, it's an adrenaline rush, to be honest. And it's a creature that we haven't really put that much focus on. One of the most prehistoric creatures you were gonna find in our metro parks. Look at the size of this turtle. But for me, it was a way to get snapping turtles out to the world. They've never really been in front of the camera like this before. Oh, and to now have the chance to have gone out there and searched for a world record, even though we didn't get one, but to get up close with all these different turtles, the ones we saw here in Ohio, the turtles in Indiana, and then down south in Louisiana, it was, uh, it was amazing. It was like an experience I've never had before. Wow, look at the size of that turtle. This is so much bigger than the common snapping turtles that I catch in Ohio. What gave you the idea for Dragon Tales? Well, honestly, it was heavily inspired by the show River Monsters. I'm a huge fan of Jeremy Wade and his quest to constantly track down these enormous fish. And I thought to myself, wow, you know what would be really cool and what people have never seen before is giant turtles. So to track down common and alligator snapping turtles, I was born to do it. This is so big. This is Cornelius. What would be your favorite episode for Dragon Tail Season 1? I would have to say that my favorite episode was the two-part episode where we went to Lost Lake and worked with Bill Haywood. Um, Bill's story about this enormous 100-pound turtle that lived in Lost Lake was just, it was the kind of story that we really hoped to chase the season on Dragon Tales. All these years of anticipation, this might be it. Look at that, you see those bubbles coming up? There is definitely something in this trap. And catching nine turtles in one trap was absolutely crazy. Right. Holy cow, it's full of turtles! Look at all those turtles! Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, it's like a crab pot from Deadliest Catch. Look at how big that one is. It's a huge turtle. Holy cow, I think we just caught every turtle in Lost Lake. Did you ever think you were gonna be around that many turtles at once? No, when we pulled that trap up and it had nine turtles in it, we kinda had this moment of panic and blank. The water was deep and we thought it was gonna capsize the boat. Oh my gosh, have you ever caught that many turtles before in one trap? <laughs> no, I haven't. And once we finally got the trap back to the dock with all those turtles, we kind of know what happened after that. I got inside the trap. This is a dream come true right here. I'm gonna get into a cage full of giant snapping turtles. Oh! Ow. Oh, you got your leg. Hey, man. Holy cow, that's a lot of turtles. And soon after, I got my finger chomped off. This turtle just bit the top of my thumb off. So I definitely learned my lesson and how to be extra careful when you're around that many turtles. I would say the most unexpected thing that happened in season one was the night that we were in the hotel room and I posted a photo on Instagram and Facebook just kind of joking to say, hey, do you guys want to see me get bitten by an alligator snapping turtle? And 95% of you said yes, do it. I mean, guys, I'll do some crazy stuff, but I'm not going to get mutilated by a turtle. Um, but it was actually uh, Adam's quick thinking to build a support brace with bamboo little pieces um, to put on my wrist and we went through with it and I've got a couple little scars now and hopefully you guys enjoyed that video of me getting chomped by that giant turtle. <sighs> nervous, very nervous. Okay, I'm Coyote Peterson and I'm about to enter the strike zone with the alligator snapping turtle. Adam, you got a good hold on him? All right, Mark, you ready? GoPro, ready? Here we go, ready? One, two, three. Ah! Ah! Oh! Ooh, I could hear a crack in the bamboo. Oh, jeez! Ah! He's through, he's through, he's through into my arm. 
Ah, geez, it went right by, past the bamboo into my arm. So I'd have to say that was the craziest moment because it's something that we did not plan going into season one. There was never any underlying goal that was, hey, let's go out there and perform a trick where you're bitten by a huge turtle. That literally was influenced by you guys, by the audience. So my overall goal with Dragon Tails was to bring a greater awareness to these animals. Comet snapping turtles and alligator snapping turtles. These are two prehistoric looking creatures that live right in most people's backyards and they don't even realize it. The more that we appreciate these animals, the better we'll be able to protect them and keep them on our planet. Are you ever going to be able to actually catch that world record turtle and will there be a Dragon Tail season two? That's a great question. Will I be able to catch a world record turtle? I believe that I can. I believe if anybody out there can catch a world record snapping turtle, it's going to be me. But I can't do it alone. What I need is for everybody else to write in, send me pictures, send me videos, tell me about the giant turtles that you've seen and you never know. Next season, I may be right in your backyard trying to catch a new world record. I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave, stay wild. We'll see you in season two.